A lot of people wonder if they have enough information in their photos to get a good quality print from their inkjet printer. Or they wonder what size prints can I make without losing quality. In this video we're going to see an easy way to size your photos to get high quality prints from your inkjet printer. So let's go over to Photoshop Elements and dive right in. Here we are in the full edit mode of Photoshop Elements. For this video I'm using Photoshop Elements 9. First go up to the Image menu and choose Resize Image Size. The Image Size dialog box appears. In this dialog box you can do two different things. You can resize your photo and you can resample your photo, which means change the resolution. And which action you perform is determined by the Resample Image checkbox located right down here. If that box is checked, you will resample your photo, and if it's unchecked, you will resize your photo. We're actually going to do both, but let's start with resizing. Let's say we want to make a 5x7 print. This is a horizontal photo, so the width will be 7 inches and the height will be 5. We need to uncheck the resample image box, so let's do that. That will make sure that no pixels are added or thrown away. First we want to see if our photo has enough information to print a quality photo at 5x7 on an inkjet printer. A common resolution for an inkjet printer is 240 pixels per inch. So click on the word resolution and type in 240. In the width and height fields you will see the maximum size you should print this photo at. This photo is 8.1 by 10.8, so we could actually get a good quality 8 by 10 print because you don't want to go any larger than the size shown in the width and height, but you can go down in size without any worries. But we only want a 5 by 7 in this case. Now check the resample image box to lock in the resolution at 240. Let's change the size to 5 by 7. I want the height to be 5 inches, so I'm going to type 5 into the height field. Elements automatically adjust the width to keep the photo proportional, but you can see it changed to less than the 7 inches we want. It's okay if the size is larger than we want because we can always crop it down, but if it's too small, you're kind of out of luck. So instead of changing the height, we need to change the width. Click on the word width and type in 7. So I'll do that. And now you can see our height is 5.25 inches, which is fine as long as it's not smaller than 5. I'm going to click OK at this point to close the image size box and commit to our changes. Now we have a 5.25 by 7 inch photo at our desired resolution of 240. All we have to do now is crop it down to 5 inches. To do that, go to the toolbox and select the crop tool. If you don't see it, click on the recompose tool and you should see it there because they share the same space in the toolbox. You can see there's the recompose tool and there's the crop tool. So choose the crop tool. Now go up to the Options bar to the Aspect Ratio field. This contains some of the more popular print sizes. And if you click on the little triangle right next to it, you can see all those sizes in the pop-up menu. Let's select the size we want, which is 5 by 7. Now we can just click and drag diagonally from the top left of our photo, and it will give us a 5 by 7 crop you will see that the extra quarter inch is at the bottom. You can adjust what you want to crop out at this point by clicking and moving the active crop area. So I can pull it down and snap it to the bottom of the photo and then the top part will be cropped away because whatever's darker is the area that will be cropped away. Or you can click and drag it kind of more towards the middle of the photo so a little will be cropped off the top and a little off the bottom. So once you're happy with your um, crop position just click on the uh, 
green check mark. Now, if we go to image, resize, image size again, and open that dialog box, you can see that we have a 5 by 7 inch photo at 240 pixel per inch resolution, which is exactly what we want. So that completes this video on how to get quality prints of your digital photos using Photoshop Elements. If you would like more free video tips, I have 20 Essential Photoshop Elements tips you can get started with right now by going to EssentialPhotoshopElements.com tips.